This is a couch conversation. This is National Women's History Month. And so I thought, what a great idea to do a video about female authors in the personal growth space. So I went into my bookshelf, excited to pull out all these books. And guess what I found? A bunch of men, a bunch of male authors. Where are the women authors? Well, part of it is because um, I do get some books from the library. That's okay, they're not all on my shelf. But there were a lot of male representation in these personal growth and development books. So I need help. What books are you reading by female authors? We need to bring out more female voices in this space. But there are some, and that is what we're gonna talk about today, some of the female authors that I recommend in the personal development space, but make sure to stick around and comment below on some other female authors that you recommend, and maybe we can discuss together. Want to know one habit ultra successful people have in common? They read a lot. They believe that books are the gateway to learning and knowledge. This is a sprinkle of wisdom. Now, when it comes to entrepreneurship, there are some great female authors that I can recommend. This is one. This is uh, by Jamie Kern Lima. Uh, it's called Believe It. And this is a newer book, actually. I, when I first learned about Jamie Kern Lima, I was like, where has she been? How have I not known about her? She's a billionaire and she made her wealth in the uh, beauty industry. And her story is beautiful. It's all about living out who you are, being content in um, you know, your own appearance. It's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful story. Um, she had actually a skin issue. She wanted to work in TV, but because she had rosacea her skin would start to get really red on on TV and no amount of makeup would help with that so that was actually how she started her business but not only does she have a beautiful story she's truly a beautiful person she when you listen to her you just see how real she is you would never know um, you know that she's a billionaire I think she's just so real and it's just someone that you would want to hug and I'm not even a big hugger but she is a a really wonderful individual I highly recommend her book it is a lot about her story and her journey and the hope that she gives other women entrepreneurs Another great recommendation in the female entrepreneur space is Marie Forleo. She has a fantastic book that even has more nuggets of really actionable items and encouragement for female entrepreneurs, which is right where her heart is, is really helping um, other women uh, start their own businesses, build their dreams. And so Marie Forleo, her book is called Everything is figure outable, which I love this phrase. I'm very addicted to this right now. I use it a lot. And she actually got it from her mom, who was just a very strong woman um, who just learned how to fix whatever needed to be fixed. She talks about when uh, she would come home, uh, she would always have her see her mom fixing something in the house. And she had this very iconic orange shaped radio that she could hear and find her mom wherever she would be. And her mom taught her how to just be resourceful and learn and anything can you can figure out. And I love that message because it's so empowering to all of us. So even if you're not interested in entrepreneurship, that is a fantastic book. If you want a quick, warm, fuzzy kind of book, this is awesome. This one is very empowering as well. It's called Better Human by Rhonda Conger. She is in Boise, Idaho, and she is, talk about an amazing businesswoman. Um, she's very strong. She has a great podcast too, The Rhonda Conger Show. Don't put an H in that name. It's very offensive to her. Uh, <laughs> but this one is a great, again, it is kind of a short read, so there's a lot of pictures. Uh, it's a, just a lot of motivation. So I really like this one. She has a couple of other books that are also fantastic, but Rhonda Conger is definitely a cool one to check out. If you're looking for a book with a spiritual element, a little more religious component to it, this is a great one. I actually came across this one. I actually won this book and uh, 
I read it and it's, it's fantastic. It's by Havala Cunnington and it's called I Do Hard Things. Talk about another empowering sounding uh, book here. So it, it is a Bible study, but um, uh, it, it's really well written. It's very, like I said, empowering and motivational. So if you're looking for a really good book like that, I definitely recommend this one. All right, so if you know me at all, you know I love science. I'm a veterinarian, I like science, but I don't want to read another peer-reviewed published journal if I don't have to. All right, uh, it's not the most enjoyable experience. So I love it when people can take science and make it interesting, pair it with stories. What's What do I need to do from this? And so I'm gonna show you a couple of great female authors that do just that. One of my absolute favorites is Vanessa Van Edwards. I actually even am part of her people school, which is a, a group teaching you uh, people skills and as people school well named uh, but this is her book captivate so this was her first book it's fantastic it talks about people skills body language um, how do you interact with individuals to optimize on charisma all sorts of things around that and she just came out with a brand new book as well called cues which i'm very excited to get and read as well but she's a fantastic author has a ted talk too if you're interested in, in diving in a little bit into vanessa van edwards she's fantastic recommend her a lot all right, the next author in more of the science category, I admit I'm a little obsessed. And that's Brene Brown. I love you, girl. Uh, so Brene Brown is a Texan. I'm a good so Southeast girl as well, so I love that. And she's another one um, that after her TED Talk, it, she just really became super popular. She has several books um, that I've got sitting right next to me. And uh, she's another one that she's so real. Um, she brings science and makes it relatable. And she herself talks about her research around shame and um, you know courage. All of that is things she's working on as well. So it's like you are on this adventure with her. And again, she's bringing in a lot of science-backed information around how we can be um, more vulnerable, which is, sounds scary, but it's, it's so important in having genuine relationships and just doing well in life. And so she has a, a whole bunch of books. This one, Rising uh, Strong, um, I've got Braving the Wilderness. This now her most recent book is Atlas of the Heart. This one is a very different type of book. Um, it is, it, it's, it's written very differently. The other ones are much more story-like. Um, this one is gorgeous. I'm trying to find some really good pictures that she worked with some artist on this one. And of course I'm on camera so they're not gonna come up. But anyway, um, so the Atlas of the Heart, finding the way back to yourself. This is actually diving into emotions. And if you um, ask people to name emotions, most of the time what they'll respond with is happy, sad, and angry. And that's about all we have vocabulary for. But there are lots of different types of emotions. And so she goes through them. She kind of groups them um, in relation, like so that these are a little bit more related, and dives into the definition, what does the science say? But most importantly, it's giving us the language to be able to communicate our emotions, which is so crucial to understanding ourselves, to relate to others. A couple more books to leave you with in the science category. Again, I love this category. Um, there is Quiet by Susan Cain. This is all about the power of being an introvert. If you are an introvert, you will, while you're reading this book, you will feel so strong and powerful. <laughs> it is a it's a wonderful book. She is a researcher, um, and so there's a lot of great evidence to it, but it's a beautiful story, and again, very, very empowering. 
Another two books that I absolutely love it are Grit by Angela Duckworth and um, Mindset. Both of them are professors at big universities. They've done a lot of research and they're both around how we have control. Uh, I think a lot of people, especially these days, feel like they don't have control in, in their life. And these two books focus on what you can control. And it's you, that mindset that can give you the grit, which gives you resilience. It's this eagerness to learn. Um, so hard times are seen as learning opportunities. And so those are also fantastic books I would recommend. Those are some examples of female authors in the personal growth space that I absolutely love and recommend. But obviously we need some more, or I definitely need some more recommendations. What do you recommend? What are some of your favorite books in the personal growth category that have been written by women? Please comment below. I'm excited to see what you have um, recommended for me and if have you read any of the books I talked about please let me know what did you think about those I want to hear from you and I will have the links to all of the books that I discuss in this video below they are affiliate links so if you're interested in buying any of them please use the link it definitely helps out this channel I hope this was interesting and please have a wonderful Women History Month what are you going to do to celebrate I encourage you to find a way to embolden other women in your life. And that is your sprinkle of wisdom.